Even when you're down in the back. I'm never late. To the most high. To the most high. The most high. The most high. The most high. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Get my sword right there. Put mine on your head. Get mine put on the table. Get mine put on the table. So y'all miss that. A mantle just failed. A mantle just failed. Huh? A mantle just failed. Huh? A mantle just failed in that room. Hey, yes, sir.
Hallelujah. Oh, come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a hand praise. Come on, give God a hand praise. For he's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. To be praised. Amen. And what a mighty God we serve. Amen. We serve an awesome God. Praise and worshiping God is just like putting money in the bank. If you don't put nothing in there, you sure enough ain't going to get nothing out. Now tell that the bank one of don't mind telling you, sir, ma'am, you have nothing in this account. So when you put something in God's account, you can always go there and draw something out. But you got to put something in the account. There ain't nothing in there. You ain't got nothing to draw out. I heard the words in the Old Testament. He said, if thou would only praise me. That's all he's asking for. Is a praise. Then he said, if you don't believe me, just try me. And see what I'll do for you. Come on, Bishop. Try me. Hello. Which come in your And see what I'll do. See when I'll come to the rescue. See when I snatch you up. Come on. See when I do what needs to be done in your life. But you gotta try me. You gotta try me. You gotta try me. You gotta try me. We give God praise today. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you see those letters on that door right there, that's the name of this ministry. Amen. Divine Direction yes. Christian Center. Yes. That means everybody's welcome. Yeah. Come and get yeah. what you yeah. need. This is not a house that's programmed. Whatever the Holy Ghost tell you to do, you better get up and do it. Because if you leave and you didn't do it, that's on you. And the God of our spirit will whoop you. We're not doing what you're supposed to do. So we give God praise. We give God glory. And we give God honor. And we thank God today. For he's worthy. Amen. To be praised. This is not strange for this ministry. This is not abnormal. This has been going on all for the last two nights. Yes, God. God told me that this ministry had to go back to the basics. And the basics was healing and deliverance. Come as you are. Broken. In need. And I ain't talking about, he wasn't talking about broken money. He's talking about broken your spirit. Broken your emotions. Confused in your mind. Can't even find the direction to go in. But he said, come. come. When you come in the right mindset, God will do what needs to be done. Amen. Amen. Thank you for healing, God. Amen. Thank you for healing, God. We give God praise. Thank you, Lord, for healing, God. We thank the Lord. For he's worthy to be praised. So I'll give God praise today. We thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank the Lord. So thank the Lord for your healing. Thank the Lord for your breakthrough. Thank God for whatever he just done for you. Give him praise for whatever he just done for you. Whatever it is. Whatever he just delivered you from. Give God praise. Somebody Amen. in the house of God. Amen. 
everybody is somebody in the house of God. So we, thank, we thank the Lord for it's a custom just to say guess. But when we in the body of Christ, we just brothers and sisters. Amen. We just plain brothers and sisters. That's just customary. But I thank God for all of the pastors, Pastor Brock, Minister Brock. Thank God for you all coming in. And then Pastor McPherson. And uh, church family. Everybody. Everybody in their respective place. Whoever you are, you know who you are. So we thank God for you being here. We thank God for your presence. Amen. God is good. Amen. All the time. He's awesome. So we give God praise today. We're going to move right along, even though we're going to leave them right where they are. Amen. The people got to learn. They want to go and snatch people up. I know you right. And the Holy Ghost still be working with them. And you pull them out of their breakthrough. You pull them away from what God is doing. Hallelujah. I teach you here when the Holy Ghost get on them. Let them lay up. Let them lay right there. God got to cook, take out, put some stuff back in, take some more junk out, take some more attitude out, take some more arrogance out. You go there, start fanning all over and want to grab them up. Sit down somewhere and let God do what he got to do. Let God do what he got to do. That's why a lot of people ain't got saved yet. All right. When God starts working on them, folks want to go grab them up and want to go just flame, fan out the flames. Let the fire burn the fire. Amen. Amen. God's word said he is a consuming fire. Let him burn it up. Consuming fire. God's trying to burn it up. You're trying to cool it down. Amen. She sweat. He sweat. Get out the way. Amen. Come on, bitch. Let God do what he wants to do. Amen. Stop holding up progress. Stop hindering somebody else's breakthrough. Amen. Stop hindering someone else's deliverance. Stop hindering someone else from being saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Because you don't know how God's working with him. Come on, That's right. That is true. You just know he's working. Yes, it. Amen. God is good. Amen. We're going to move right along. I think we got something that's coming. And then I will be back. You're shooting. Amen. Amen. I, I love this. Yes, sir. Yes, this is church. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you yeah. came looking for anything else other than church, yes, other than the Holy Ghost being here, my security guard will usher you to your car. All right, come on here. Because if you're like that, you're in the wrong place. Amen. I come to enjoy Jesus. Yes, it ain't about me, not about her, not about you, or you. This thing is about Jesus. The one that died on the cross. I ain't died on the cross, way. And I ain't going to tell you I'm going to go down for you. Come on, somebody. Uh, I ain't got that yet. I haven't made it there yet. I, I have not made it there for yet. I, mean, I have not made it there for you. Right. Amen. So we, we thank God today. Amen. Amen. I think they're going, young ladies want to run us with a praise, praise dance. So give them a God bless you as they Amen. come. God bless you. Amen. 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 They do that. And we will be back in that order. God bless Amen. Amen. So this song right here means a lot to me. And I was traveling and God began to speak to me. He said, when you think about company, they come over to your house. At some point, because they're company, they have to go. He said, but with me, I want to be the person who can stay with you and for the rest of your life. So my prayer was to God, you are the company that never have to leave me. So I need you to stay with me. How can I leave? How can I move? How 
Oh. 
She kicked it off. I'm telling you, did she kick it off? Yes, 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 yes. Amen. I mean, the way she kicked it off, I'm like, sure glad I ain't got to come behind her. <laughs> amen. And then Pastor Gray, yeah, yeah. amen. The head, he came right on behind her Friday night, and he put oh, the icing on the cake. Amen. And now, you know what I told him, Pastor Brock? I said, now, if you had just went a little bit further, I wouldn't have to do nothing, son. <laughs> I said, I was waiting on you. I'm, I'm sitting here waiting on you. Come on, now. come on out with it. Come on out with the rest of it. That way I can just continue to sit back and feast. Amen. We thank God for them. We thank God for everybody that took time out of your schedule. See, love is not what it says. Love is what it does. And we are in the season of fellowship. Yes, That's right. Come on here. It's time for the people of God to come together. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. Distance Amen. shouldn't yes. even matter. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. It shouldn't matter when you're coming to see about your brother. That's right. Or you're coming to see about your sister. That's right. The question was asked back in the Bible days, am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you are. Yes, yes you are. Yes, you are. You are your brother's keeper. Yes. Amen. God charged you to be your brother's keeper. That's right. That's right. A lot of people don't know that. That's right. But you've been charged to be your brother's keeper. Your brother's keeper. Even when your brother strays away, you still charge to go talk to him. You still charge to go talk to him. So even even after that. Even after that, it's still up to that in the vision. But you have done your duty as a brother or as a sister. Amen. What do you think Jesus meant? Said when one leave, will you go after that one, or will you just stay there with the ninety-nine? All right, now. You got to go get that one. That's what Jesus did. Yes. That's through love and kindness. We are concerned about each other, so we we are happy today. With man, we thank God for everyone. Amen. And our theme for this week was running the race. That's it, Bishop. That's the theme. Come on, guys. Running the race. Come on, man. That's the theme. Running the race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that was taken out of Romans chapter 12. Yes. Around verse 2. Uh-huh. Running the race. And, yes, sir. And, and since they went all around it, I'm like, I'm waiting on somebody to just go down through the middle of this. <laughs> And I'm sitting here watching and observing. I'm like, they think they're small. Yeah, they're going to move around it. You know, I preached a message one time about people in the church. How you in the word, 
you hear the word, mm -hmm. but you're really not in the word. Come on here. Come on here. You, you're around it. Come on here. But you're not in it. Come on here. You can come to church seven days a week, what you say? but you're still not in the word. Come on. What you say? You got to be in the word. In the word. Because that's what that's what's gonna keep us. The yes, word is, is what's word. gonna take us to where we're trying to go. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That the word is gonna take us there. Yes. So we thank God today. Amen. For everything. I said God is so awesome. Yes, he is. He just tears stuff up. Yes, he does. But I love it when he tears up. Yes. Because when it's tore up, it's tore up good. That's right, that's right. You can't go back to nothing together. That's right. It's already done. And they say done done. Mm -hmm. And ain't nothing you can do with it. That's right. Amen. Amen. So we, we bless the Lord today. Amen. I was looking at Romans 12. Like I said, they, they dabble in it, mm -hmm. which was good. All mm -hmm. right now. Amen. And that Romans 12, let me go there first. Amen. Those that have the Bibles. Amen. One book is there. Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and Then I want someone to take us to Hebrews chapter 12. We're going to see if we just put it all together. Hebrews 12 and 1. We're going to see if we put it all together. All right. By way of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. And make this thing happen. Amen. Amen. Someone that has to read Romans 12 and 2 for me. Romans 12 and 2 say, And be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, mm -hmm. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Perfect will of God. Everybody hear that? Perfect. Perfect will of God. We ain't got there yet. We working on it. All right. All right. We, we, we ain't got there yet. Don't jump up and down and say you there because you're not. Stop lying to yourself and lying to everybody else. Come on, you ain't made it there yet. Come on, yeah. Yes. We ain't made it there yet. Yes. We're, we're working on it. Yes. We, we are a work in progress. Yes. Yeah, we're work in progress. Amen. 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 Someone take me to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with such, with such a great cloud of witness, let us lay aside every way and sin. Which do it so easy to set us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Now, I didn't choose this thing. Uh -huh. All right. I think the woman on the floor did. Amen. 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 But since we're running with this thing, uh -huh. we just want to talk with a little bit here about what race are you running? Come on, All right. Miss. All right. All right. Amen. What race are you running? All right. There's a lot of races that people are running. What you say, Bishop? But what race are you in? I'm yeah. you're right. Huh? What race are you running? Mm -hmm. And then I have another part of that question I want to ask you. Why are you running that race? All right. Come on. Okay. Come on. If I'm in a race, I need to know. Why I'm in that race. Right. See, a lot of people are running. Some are running after the world. What you say? You better work that Some are running after fame. Some are running after fortune. Some are running after be a big name. So they can get all the praise. So they can get some glory. But my God said his glory would he give to no one. So I, I don't care how you run it. But you ain't running for God. Come on here. That, that's the race that you chose to run. But God ain't in that race. That's not the race. Huh? So what race are you running? Huh? What race are you running? What race? When Paul said he described the running of the race to the Christian, he was not talking to the world. All right, come on, come on. But he was talking to the believer. Yeah, he was. When he says you ran well, uh -huh. he said, "But 
who hindered you? In other words, who did you allow to get in your way between you and God? Sometimes it might be the mate. Mm-hmm. Might be the mistress on the side. All right, come on here. Come on, y'all want to hear this? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, come on here. It might be the one you got in the closet you ain't you texting and, and ain't told nobody about. All right, all right. But you still want to come in the house of God and be on fire. Come on here. And still want to be served. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what race are you running? Yeah. See, in, in, in this walk of life, you can't run two races. Right. You got to run one race. So your race is either going to be for God or it's going to be for Satan. So I ask you, which one is it? Which race are you running? And then he tells us that, you know, you you ran well. And, and, and most people remember when they, become, when they became a Christian and when they first got saved. Uh-huh. How you was on fire. Yeah. How you wanted everybody to feel like you feel. Uh-huh. You wanted everybody to feel that thing. So right. uh-huh. yes. But then you find out later on, even when you get in the church, everybody ain't feeling like you feel. Because right. uh-huh. everybody ain't got what you got. That's right, right. right Bishop. That's right. Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. But you you in there with them now, so you running. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta realize I'm in this race. Mm-hmm. But I looked over here, I thought they was running with me. Mm-hmm. The Christian race is just like a marathon. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna tell you something. Stop waiting on somebody else to pass you the baton. Come on, All right. If you waiting on me to pass you the baton to see if you can get ahead of the next person, you're backing up. The race is for you as an individual. You can run it fast. You can run it slow. You don't have to try to keep up with nobody else. You run the race at the pace that God's given you. So what race are you running? What race are you running? It's personal. I can't run for the wife, and she can't run for me. That's right. <laughs> she got her race to run. I got my race to run. She got her salvation to work out. I got my salvation to work out. And I'm so glad God made it that way. I'm so glad he did. Because if he didn't, some of us would have fallen. Amen. Well, that's my wife, man. My wife gonna do this. I'm following my wife because I love my wife. You gonna lose your life because of your wife? Come on. You gonna lose your salvation for your wife? Come your on. wife didn't die for you. Right. Come on. Right. You better work, Bishop. That's right. Your wife didn't do. Right. Think about the one that says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." Think about the one when you was in the in the muck one day. The one that reached down. Yes, and spread it out and said, look, I want that one right there. Pick him up. Yes, That's the one I want. Shook you up. Cleaned you up. Put you on a straight street. So now this is the race I want you to run. I just need you to stay the course. <laughs> Abstractions causes you and I to get off course. All right. We start running well. Now this was a church. This, this wasn't the world. This was in the house of God. They took off on fire. But somewhere down the road, the fire got lower and lower and lower and lower. Till it got to where it all goes with nothing. Yes, sir. God had to send back the man of God and say, what's wrong with y'all? Uh-huh. So you started out real good. Yeah. You, you started out just doing everything for God. Uh-huh. But somewhere along the line. And people said, well, it was, it was because of this or it was because of that. It was because of the individual chose yes. not to right. go no further. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They got tired. That's right. Because see, you'll get tired if you're not real. Yeah. You got to be real in this thing for God. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you are a pretender, the late Elvis Presley wrote a song about the great pretender. All right. And the church is full of great pretenders. Come on here. Come on here. They play it better than anybody plays. Yeah. Great pretender. Because see, one thing about it, sooner or later, that great pretender is going to get tired. All right. And then the real brother is going to stand up. Yeah. The real sister is going to stand up. Uh-huh. The real deacon is going to stand up. Yeah. The real mother is going to show up. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey. 
And then you're going to be like, wow, what happened? I, mm -hmm. I thought deep. They go from deep and they start cutting down deep. Yeah. <laughs> I thought deep was like this and uh -huh. deep done went this way. Right. Deep was like that all the time. All right. Come on here. You just didn't know it. Yeah. You didn't have enough discernment to see through deep. Yeah. Right. Huh? Yeah. Poor Holy Ghost. You didn't see it. All right. Huh? But it was there all the time. Yes. Huh? Yes. So what race are we running? Come on. Huh? Now I'm going to give you a couple of things that really hinder us while we're running the Christian race. All right. Say some things that really hinder us. And I know people say we are our worst hinder. Sometimes we let folks become the worst enemy. All right. Yes. That is true. Sometimes we let people yes, sir. become the worst enemy. Yes. Amen. And when we do that, then we got two hindrances going on. Amen. I'm fighting with me as a hindrance. Come on. Uh -huh. And now I got to fight with them as a yeah. hindrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe in church hurt. What's your right. Come on. Right yeah. Come on. You better work, bitch. Right. Come on. You know why? <laughs> Because you can't give me hell unless I allow you to. All right. All right. All right. I said it again. Right. You cannot give me hell unless I allow you to. Yeah. So, but if I'm fully wrapped up, tangled up, tied up in Christ, whatever you say, however you come, it's not going to stop me from running my race. Because the race is given not to the swift, not the strong, but the one that just hold out and endure until the end. Once I get in the race, I got to have a mind to finish the race. I can't go halfway and stop. Because if I go halfway and stop, then I got to go back and do my first work all over again. That means somebody else don't got further along ahead of me. This is the individual walk. It's for you to do. Yes. And I'm, I'm so glad God got this thing fixed where you can't walk it out for me. I love you, you my wife. I love you for life. But you cannot walk it out. That's right. That's right. Amen. And I can't walk it out for you either. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Being a Christian, you got to have a well made up mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Test going to come. Uh -huh. Your faith going to be tested. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 And the day you name the name of Christ, uh -huh. your test begins. Yes. The day you name the name of Christ, yes. and you step on the race track. I'm talking about Jesus' race track. Yes. Right? Yes. As soon as you step on Jesus' race track, all hell breaks out. Yes. But you know something I learned? God was dealing with me on something. He said, when my people come in, mm -hmm. they get saved. They repent, they get delivered, mm -hmm. then they get saved, mm -hmm. then they get filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He puts the Spirit in them, right? Mm -hmm. We say, come on over on the Lord's side. <coughs> Everything going to be all right. All right, come on here. You come on in the church. Uh -huh. God going to work everything out that you need worked out. Mm. Work, Bishop. What did he say there? there? No word, word bishop. No it ain't in there. Word bishop. <laughs> Show me chapter and verse. It ain't in there. Well, he said that. So when a babe comes to Christ, word they're in a learning stage. That's right. So somebody has to sit them down and say, look now, it's going to be some tough days ahead. Right. You're going to run into a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Right. It, it ain't going to always be like this. Yeah. But if you're in the race and stay in the race, God will bring you through the race. Yeah. So we got to start telling people, especially when they're babes in Christ, mm -hmm. look for some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Look for some stuff to come your way. Yeah. Look to be talked about. Yeah. Look to be put down. Yeah. Look to be pick, picked up and put back down again. Come yeah. on here. Yeah. Come on here. But it's for the name of Christ. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because you're in the race. Yes. And if ain't nobody talking about you, you ain't in the race. Come on here. Come on. Come on. You just out there. Yeah. If nobody is talking about you or trying to come against you, you not even in the race. Amen. Yeah. Come on. You're not even there. That's right. You're on the sideline. Yeah. Yeah. Just like when the runner one by you got the baton, you, you're on the sideline waiting on them to pass it to you. Yeah. But he run right by you. Come on. Because you're not in the race. Yeah. He's not going to get a baton to you. That's right. You're not there. 
Oh, you, you're not in that race. This race here is, is, is easy to run. Uh -huh. It's not hard. But it takes the Holy Ghost. Yes, yeah. it does. You, better say it one more time. you can't run it on your own. Yeah. That's why I tell young men when they come to the church, I can change. Stop that lie right there. Hold up. That's right. That's right. No, you can't. You might change something. But the original change comes from God. Yeah. That change starts inside yeah. and works its way outside. Yeah. I heard the preacher said the other night, just like you can change from something, you can change back to something. The words that be ye transformed by the renewing of my mind. So if my mind gets transformed, not changed. Uh -huh. Woo, that's the difference now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. If my mind is transformed, yeah. then I'm not liable to change back. Come on. Because Come on. my mind now is transformed. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And when it's transformed, I got a new mind. Yeah. See, when change means anything can still Come in there because that, that door's still open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the transformation comes, God closes that change though. Yeah. yeah. And then now you're in a transformation stage. Yeah. yeah. You're in transition. Yeah. 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 You transition from this over to this. Yeah. You're not even looking back at that. Come on. Right. You, you're transitioning. Yeah. Huh? Holy Ghost. You're transitioning. That's what I love about this race. This person. Yes, sir. This person. All the way. If you get tired, that's you. You want to take a lunch break? That's you. Come on. You want to go eat up a peanut butter jelly sandwich? That's fine. Eat one. Uh -huh. While you eat one, eat one for me. Come on. But that don't mean I'm stopping. Come on here. Come on here. Gotta keep going. Yes. I'm still, I'm still in the race. Yes, sir. So when the obstacles come, I'm still going. All right. All right. All right. How you think when they run the New York Marathon? They got some detour they have to go through. Oh, yeah. They detour them so they won't get into the traffic. Yeah. Come on now, y'all missed that. Yeah. All right, come on. Yeah. On this race, God already got the detour mapped out. So you don't get caught up, jammed up in traffic. Come on. You got to go on power, put your car in power because you can't go no further because you stuck in traffic. Yeah. On this race, you keep you go by traffic. Yeah. God will teach you. Didn't you say I'll make a way for you to expect? Yes, sir. Keep running the race. Yes. Yes. That's how you escape. Yes. Oh, they got a roadblock right here. I guess we just have to pull over and you know just wait and see what happens. Mm. Fender bend up there, so I can't go no further. Mm. That's safe. Mm. That's Satan. Yes, sir. He wants you to take your eyes off the race right. and look at what he done put before you. Uh -huh. So you 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 sitting there in park. Uh -huh. uh, everybody else is still in drive. Yeah. All right now. They running right on by you. Yeah. You like well, how can they go around and we still sitting here? Mm -hmm. You're sitting there because you want to sit there. Watch out. Huh? Let me give you a couple things. This race we're running is not yesterday's race. Wow. This race is today's race. Wow. Wow. You know why? Wow. Because we're in the last days. Yes, sir. The race we ran last week has yeah. to increase tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. The race you ran six months ago has to increase. Yeah. Because if you, if you started out like this right here, and you just... And then you get to where you got... You got caught up. Yeah. yeah. Not in the race for God. Right. Because I'm looking at finances ain't where they ought to be. I got this bill over here. I got only X amount of dollars. You know, I was like this, but then I got all this stuff facing me. Come on here, bitch. And now. I'm, my mind is off the race, yeah, yeah. and I begin to look at what's happening around me yeah. instead of stepping over the mess, yeah. instead of trusting God, yeah. instead of giving God his word back, yeah. giving his word back when he said, Lord, you said, Come on. whatever I ask in your name, yeah. 
Whatever I ask in your name, yes. you shall bring it to pass. Yes. Brother David said, I've been old. He said, I've been young now. I was baby. Come up to China. Yeah. He said, I didn't see no suffering then. He said, but now I done got old. Uh -huh. He said, but the whole time of growing up, I never saw the righteous That's right. forsaken. That's right. Nor his seed. That's right. Begging bread. There are yeah. ways that you can tell if you're still in the race. Come on here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That, that's a way that you can you can tell. Uh, and God will let you know if you're still in the race. Uh, He'll let you know if you don't went over and got it in Paul. Yeah. <laughs> He'll let you know if you let you know if you're taking a break. Uh-huh. He'll tell you to fast. Uh-huh. You reaching for a sandwich. All right. You wondering what the wife done cook. Uh-huh. God done told you to fast. Yeah. All right. What bitch? <laughs> He didn't say no, he didn't say stop. That's it. Huh? Yeah. He didn't say that. Mm. But we wonder what's going on. Yeah. All right. yeah. And then we wonder why others are being blessed. Mm -hmm. And then you still at the back of the line. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your word. Yeah. It's not his will that none should perish. That's right. But then he, he declared that we should be the head right. and not the tail, right. the lender right. and not the borrower. So when these things are not happening, that tells me you don't you don't stop somewhere in your race. Yeah. Yeah. You on pause. Yeah. You get a little bit, you don't get the full portion. All right. All right. Because he said I reign on the just as well as the unjust. Yeah. A lot of folks just blessed by association. Uh -huh. <laughs> you get a blessing just because you who you hanging out with. Yeah. You ain't really did nothing to earn it, but right. you just you got blessed just because of the neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Your neighbor was blessed. Yeah. Your yeah. pastor's blessed. Yeah. Your sister's blessed. Come on, yeah. Your brother's blessed. Come on. So I hang out with them so I get a little bit of the yeah. blessing. Yeah. 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 And you may not be running nothing. Right. Nothing. Right. nothing. Zero. Yeah. But because of somebody else, right. yeah. your blessing comes through the line because of somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what, you, what did you do yesterday? Right. Huh? But how does God feel about your work yesterday? Come on, yeah, right, come, right. come on, come on. Huh? Right. Are you uh, are you a one day a week Christian? Right. Or can you do five days? Come on, here. Yeah. Are you a one day Sunday only? All right. If you if you're a one day Sunday only, that means you only gonna get a certain portion. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. God ain't gonna give you seven days of blessing when you ain't work but one day. Come on here. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Come on now. Come on. What I look like, I'm the path to only show up on Sunday. What you say, Bishop? Yeah. Walk on in it. I can't show up at Bible study. Come on. What you say, Bishop? Walk Walk in it, Bishop. I can't partake in the faith. Come on. Well, you know, I, I got this right here going on right now. Well, I have to catch y'all next time. Uh, but I'll see y'all Sunday. Yeah. Oh, Sunday <laughs> you ain't running too much of a race. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah. You ain't running too much of a race. No. Mm. A lot of people just bless because who they hang out with. Yeah. You, right, yeah. you can have a family that's saved. Mm. So you right. And you blessed because of the family member that's saved. Uh, you say that. Amen. Come Amen. on here. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. Come on here. You're, you're blessed because of them. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 I said, like kids, children, in the family. So mom know. and dad say, Yeah, you're going to be blessed because mom and dad is saved. I said, you right, right, Bishop. Right. But see, you fail to realize when you get to that point to where you stand on your own, on then you, you, you get out from up under that umbrella. Because now you got to work out your own soul salvation right. with fear and trembling. You can't stay on the mom and dad's umbrella always. Sometimes you, know, you got to step out right. and start your own race, yeah. your own relationship right. with Jesus Christ yeah. for your one self. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let me get a couple of these down. I'm going to get up out of here. Number one of, one of, the, one of the first things is we got to learn how to commune with God. Yeah. yeah. That's number one. Come on here. Learn how to commune with God. Yes, yes sir. Mm -hmm. That one-on-one -on -one relationship. Yes, mm -hmm. You talk to everybody else, but you don't want to talk to God. Come on, here. Yeah. You, you tell everybody else about your problem, but you won't talk to God. Yeah. And God is the only one that can solve your problem. Yeah. Yeah. You bring your problem to me, I can pray with you, but if you take it to God, 
That's the one that's going to fix your problem. He said, cast your cares upon me. He said, because I care for you. He said, take my yoke and my burden. All I can do is pray with you. Yeah. Pray for you. Uh -huh. What is that to you? That's your race. Yeah. You got to run. So <laughs> learn how to commune with God. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And a lot of people say, well, I can't pray like that. Right. Mm. Come on here. Everybody told me to. That's right. That's right. That's right. Stop trying to be a copycat. What you say, Bishop? That's it. Jesus gave his disciples one simple prayer. That's it. Our Father, yeah. which are in heaven, yeah. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth, which is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. See, let me, let, me, let me bring something out. That prayer right there really starts your day. Because you may get up and your refrigerator may be empty. But before that day is over, God's going to give you your bread. Yeah. It's coming somewhere. Yeah. So that's a yeah. simple prayer. Ain't nobody, he ain't told nobody to get on that red and tear. Come on. Right, man. <laughs> Sound like you having an asthma attack. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't told you that? Absolutely. 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 Why did he say that? <laughs> Come on with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make me feel like we need to get the oil and lay hands on you. There's something wrong with you. That's right, that's right. You need to be delivered of that spirit. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That ain't God. Come on, yeah. Come on, man. If God won't speak to you, he ain't going to have you trying to catch your breath. Come on, yo. All right, now. Come on, now. Come on, now. Make it play. Yeah. Very simple. Very simple. He gonna speak to you. You gonna open your mouth, and the word gonna come out. Yeah. You ain't gonna be gasping for <laughs> All right now. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Stop him. Stop her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh uh. God told the Baptist to write my word down. That's right. Yeah. On the table. He said, make it plain. Make it plain. Don't mix nothing up. He said, I just want it plain. Yeah. That my people. Can understand. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Number two, hold tight to the gospel. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. The gospel. Mm -hmm. That's, it. That's your life, man. Yeah. That's right. Hold yeah. tight to the gospel. That's yeah. right. Paul said it best. He said, if though we are an angel mm -hmm. come from heaven, right. preaching any other gospel yeah. except yeah. this gospel that has already been preached, yeah. let him be a yeah. curse. What and then you want to sit up on somebody, you know they ain't preaching the gospel. Oh, come on. Come they on. preaching for fortune. They preaching for fame. They preaching for you to bring your dollars to them. Away with that demon. Get that demon out the house. He ain't even got no business in the pool pit. That's the devil straight from hell. Yeah. Yes. Get him out the pool pit. Get her out the pool pit. They have no place in God's house. Now, if you're not concerned about the soul, bye. Amen. That's what this thing is about. Amen. It's, it's about the soul. Amen. It ain't about no money. Right. Right. It's about the soul. Then they want to take the scripture and throw it out there. Well, bring all your tithes into the storehouse. Yeah. There might be meat in my house. Uh -huh. Okay, God so said that. Mm -hmm. Then they want to take you over to the New Testament in the book of Acts where everything was brought and laid at the apostles' feet. Yeah. Work it, Bishop. They did that. That is true. Map it out. That's true. But when it was laid at the apostles' feet, yeah. it didn't mean one apostle picked it up and put it in his pocket. Come on. Come on. And walked away. Come on. It was distributed back equally to the people of God. You got people now, when money comes at their feet, they pick it up, put it in the tray. Yeah. How much that was, that brother? Yeah. Yeah. How much that was, that bro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to break me off now, you know. Uh, uh, you, know. you got to break yeah. me off. Start off with $100 money last. Yeah. Work, 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 work. Then you get in the bank, you want to get them blood with their $100 back. You just be with the people. Yeah. 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 That's all you did. You be with God's people. Yeah. That's all you did. That's all you need. 
Yeah. You put your hundred dollar bill in there. I started off. Yeah. Who gonna follow me? They go in the back. My God, today. Yes, sir. Expose it, Bishop. Yeah. Expose it. That's yours. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Show me that in scripture. Hey. We are blessed to be a blessing. Yes, sir. That's the word. We are blessed to be a blessing. Yes, Not to word. try to take from. That's right. You are blessed to be a blessing. Yes, if you blessed, then you share you share your blessing. Yes. You want to be blessed even more? Share. Yeah. That's, that's the rip, that's the work right there. Yeah. So you gotta hold tight. It didn't say hold. He said he said hold tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold tight. David said, "Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee." Mm -hmm. Take his word, put it in your heart, yes. and run this race. Yes. Hold tight to the gospel. Yes. Mm -hmm. It don't matter what come or what say. Yes, mm -hmm. Don't be shaken. The word tells us that. Don't, don't be shaky. That's right. That's right. Don't be right. trouble. Yeah. Right. Write all the letters you want. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna shake me. Yeah. Only thing that's gonna shake me is when that word falls. That's right. Then I know I'm in trouble. Yes, sir. But as long as that word is standing, yeah. bring whatever you want to bring up. And the more you bring, the more I'm gonna stand. I'm standing on the word. Yes, I used the illustration one time. I closed the Bible. I do it again. Mm. What am I standing on? No matter what comes. Hell or high water. I'm standing. I'm standing right here. Bring your envy. Bring your jealousy. Bring your attitudes. Bring your arrogance. Stop putting money in the trade. Stop paying your tithes. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Because the word don't got me covered. You ain't got me covered. If I'm waiting on you, then I'm lost anyway. Because you ain't got me covered. But the word. The word got me covered. And I just stay in this race. I ain't got to run fast. I got a little older. But I'm still stepping. I'm still moving. I'm still in this race. Hard, but I'm still here. Bones don't move like they used to. But I'm still here. I'm still able to put one foot before the other one. I'm still in this race. Yes, sir. Because I'm standing on the word. I'm standing on the word. Yes, sir. And he said in the word, he said, if I live right, then I can eat the good of the land. Yeah. If I live right, yeah. and if I walk up right before yeah. him, mm -hmm. heaven belongs to me. Yeah. It belongs to me. Yeah. And then what I love about what God said, he said, now in your, your latter days, it's going to be your better days. Yeah. 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 Your, your latter days, you might have went through some showing up hell in your younger days oh, as being a Christian, as being saved. Said, but if you keep down the race, he said, when you get a little bit older, I'm going to make it the way you can walk. Yeah. 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 You ain't have some pep in your step. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. your latter days yes, don't be your greater days. Yes, and you know why that ties in? Because he said, he said, I will cause the blessings to overtake you. They will run over you. Blessings be there when you get there. Already waiting on you. Thank you, Father. Yeah. It's already there. Blessing be already there. So we're in our latter days. Yes, Lord. Yeah, even in your people. You're in your latter days. Yes. This is the time of the season where God is pouring out his blessings. Yes. Amen. Amen. He, he, he is. Let me give you one or two more here. It says, meet with one another. Uh -huh. oh, isn't that what we're doing? That's right. yeah. 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 And the reason we meet with one another is to encourage one another. Yes, sir. To lift one another up. Yes, sir. To draw strength from one another. Yes, sir. We don't meet to argue. That's right. We, we don't meet to voice our opinion about how something went down. I just didn't like that. Yes, sir. That's not the mind of Christ. That's right. That's right. First Peter 4 and 1 said, For as much as Christ has suffered in the flesh, to so arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Yeah. We didn't meet to argue. That's right. But we come together to worship. Yeah. We come together to give God praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You analyzed a person yesterday? Mm -hmm. Thank you.
land that was all undestroyed. Uh -huh. So you got to get get it together. Yes, sir. Put it back. Put it back. Like God said. One word, love. Yes, sir. Love has a multitude of faults. Yes. Stop looking at people's faults and see what's inside of them. Yes. Ask God to show you what's in them. Yes. If you're looking at the outer shell, you might see anything. Yes. But when you ask God to show you the heart yes. of the person, yes. you'll see something. You'll see something. You see something you didn't think was there. Come on, right? I didn't believe that about her. I didn't believe that about him. It was there all the time. But you were blind to it. Because you was looking at the outside. Why do you think God said men, men look at the outer field? That's what he said. He said, but God said, I look at their heart. They may not look like you, walk like you, talk like you, act like you. But God said, I look at that heart. Yeah, I can take that heart. And I can turn it around. Yeah. And I can what make them say? to be the man or the yes, woman uh -huh. that I want them to be. Because yes, he's looking at the heart. Yes, he is. We pass people up because we're looking at the outward appearance. Yeah. Now, it ain't about your clothes. That's right. It ain't about this robe. That's right. Right, right. right. They look nice. <laughs> Take the robe off. Mm -hmm. Take the suit off. Yeah. Come on now. You got the man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You got the man. You got the man. Right. All you did was dress the man up. That's it. That's it. You got the man. All you did was dress him up. Satan know how to dress up. Satan know how to look sanctimonious. Satan know how to give you a tongue. Satan know how to sing like he's looking in one of the gates of the pearly gates. He knows how to do that. And you get caught up on... She oh, sounds good. Yeah. That man know he can blow, boy. Yeah. 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 Y
fill you, truly sanctify you. Then he will appoint you. Then you can step back over and get in the race. Yeah. Yeah. You do the work, yes, sir. You ready to go then? Yeah. Stop trying to load up your tank. You ain't got nothing in. Come on. Come on. How do I load up my tank? Do the word. Do the word. That's how I load up my tank. Huh? I ain't talking about them natural gas tank. I'm talking about that tank where that spiritual tank. Yeah. When the enemy comes, when the enemy comes in like a fluke. And, and, and come on now, you gotta have some words so you can lift up a standard. Yeah. Yeah. But if you ain't got no word in your tank, you in trouble. You got some words in your tank. Yeah. No word? Mm -hmm. No power. No cross? No crown. No cross? No crown. No crown. No fast? No power. No prayer? No power. Sit down. That's right. That's right. Stop trying to be a pretender. Yeah. Huh? Stop doing that. All right. It says expecting. Expect suffering for Christ's sake. Yes, God. Don't nobody want to go through this. Oh, you're right, Bishop. I want everything just to go my way. I know you're right. And then some people have nerve enough to say, Pray that prayer, Lord, open up the windows of heaven and pour out the blessings oh, on me. And I will have not have enough room to receive. Yeah. What are you gonna pour out on you? What have you done? Right, 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 right. What have you done for him to pour? Open the windows of heaven and pour out the blessings on right. you. What? what have you done? Yeah. Yeah. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? That's right. Yeah. He's trying to get you to stay in the race. You want don't want to do that. Right. You want a little bit and then you get tired. Yeah. He says, be not weary. Well, well, well done. Yeah. Get tired, but just don't give up. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with getting tired. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing wrong with getting frustrated. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing wrong with getting angry. Yeah. But just don't give up. It ain't working for me. I've heard all that. It ain't working for me. Yeah. I'm tired. I ain't seen nothing yet. That's right. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. God. Got you. Got you. Expect. Come on, here. When you expect to go through, uh -huh. it brings on one word, endurance. endurance. Yes. Yes. endurance. endurance. See, if you can't endure, that means you can't go through nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. And none of us going to go through what Christ went through. No, no. And none of us going to go through what the apostles went through. No, no, what you say? Uh -uh. Say that again. Well, somebody can misspell your name and you come all unglued. <laughs> They didn't pronounce my name right. What you say? Go to a church just because they don't recognize you in your title. Oh, oh, they, they overlook me. You know, everybody else, whatever. They, didn't, they just completely overlook me. Oh. It ain't about you anyway. Right. Right. It never has been and never will be. Again, I say, sit down. Right. Right. You get it right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it ain't about you. I love to go to a church. Pastor Brock sit in the back. I love to. But I can just eat. But lately, every time I go back, they're like, God, shut up the spot like that. You're fine. Bring it back to the front. <laughs> Lord, can I get a break? Right. Right. Come on. Yes, so we have to realize it ain't about no time. Right. Yes, sir. So the fivefold, the, the gifts of the fivefold is just gift God gave you. Right. And the, it, the, it was given for the edification of the church. Yeah. It was not given for self gain. Right. It was not given for you for people to come and worship you yeah. or people to come and serve you. Right. Number one, you are a servant yeah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's all you are. Yeah. A servant. Yeah. Now, if you think you're something else, then you're in trouble. Yeah. God going to deal with you before it's over with. You are a servant. Server. Learn how to serve. Right. When you learn how to serve one another, oh, God yes, honors that. Yes, 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 when you can serve one another yes, yes. without any grudging, All right. without any second thought, on, you just right. do it because God said do it. Yes. You do it with a smile on your face. Yes. You ain't got a frown like you took them out and stepped on your toe. Yeah. And even after they step on your toe, it's all right, bro. Yeah. It's okay. We, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. I just got these shoes. They marked them up already. So your salvation is in your shoes, then. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Ain't got no money. Come on. But I got favor with God. Favor. I got favor with God. Yes, And you ain't gonna make me cause me to do anything to disrupt my faith That's right. with God. That's right. That's right. I don't care how much money you lay down. Uh huh. I walk around. Yeah. Cause when I pick your money up and I spend your money, my favor is gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The money is gone. Wow. You gone. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And I'm yep. left by myself. Yes, sir. All right, sir. I'm stuck. Right, sir. But faith. <laughs> faith. Yeah. I've seen favor. I've seen God's favor work. Yeah. 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 I've seen God's favor work. Yeah. I've seen it work. Yeah. I've seen how it works. Yes. Yeah. I've seen how it works. That's right. Yeah. We're in a season where favor is being poured out. Yeah. Blessings are being poured out. Yes. On us. Yes, sir. On God's people. Yes. This is a season. Amen. To receive what God has for you to receive. Amen. Stop hindering yourself. Stay in the race and run the race so God can show you something. Yes. Stop and show you something. Yes. Small ministries. Thank you. Get ready. Yes. Yes, sir. Get ready. Yes, sir. Overflow is coming. Yes, sir. Overflow is coming. Yes, Lord. Yes. They, they already, it's already begun. Amen. The movement has already begun. Amen. People are looking for the truth now. That's it. That's it. People are looking for realness now. That's it. That's they it. They tired of faking and jaking. That's it. They don't seen enough of that. That's it. They looking for some real saints now. That's it. They, you, you hear Christians now, but you don't hear saints too much. Come on, Woo. Come on. Now that, that, that right there is the foundation. <laughs> the saints of God. That's it. Yeah. Woo. You hear the Christian. And the reason you don't want me to tell you why you hear the Christian now? Because see, they have what is called they, they switched it around. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you can become a new age Christian now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you, you can you can go to where now you can become a this is the way we do it now. Yeah, you know. And when you do it when you do it like now. You have walked away from the foundation. Because the word says, seek you for the old path. And when you find it, walk therein. No folks say, we will not walk. People saying the same thing today. That's right. No joke. We, we ain't walking in there. That's right. No, that's too hard. Uh -uh. I, I want to get somewhere where I can do like I want to do. Uh -huh. I, I want to get somewhere where I can just hide, no, hang out, no, show up on Sunday, give them some tithes, little offering. No, they don't bother me the rest of the week till Sunday. I see you like Sunday. Come on, yeah. That devil cut up on Monday. No, 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 no. That devil cut up on Monday. The same one that put the tithe and all in the plate. Yeah. No anointing. Yeah. No salvation. Yeah. Cut up on money. Yeah. Some of them don't wait for money. Some of them cut up right after service. Yeah. Right after service. Right after service. Right 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 attitude. Are right you going to have attitude yeah. up in the church? Did you not hear what the Spirit of the Lord was saying to the church? Yeah. Yeah. And you got an attitude. Yeah. yeah. Before you get out of the church. Come on here. Yeah. yeah. Get in the race. Get in the race. How you gonna have attitude? Come on. You gonna wake yourself up? That's right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to church right. with a grudge. I guess I'll go today. I, yeah. I, I, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's first yeah. Sunday. Yeah. I, I guess I'll show up. Come on here. I ain't been in about three weeks, but I, it's first oh, yeah. Sunday now, so I guess I'll show up. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll show up. Yeah. yeah. Well, who are you showing up for? That's right. That's right. Who are you showing up for? That's right. You can't be in the race. That's right. Not God's race. Come on. You show up. Even when you don't feel good, you show up. That's it. That's it. That's Press it. your way. That's it. That's it. Even when things going bad, yeah, press your way. Yeah. You know why I press my way? Because I know my deliverance is in the house. Yeah. The old saints yeah. said, if I could just make it to the house of God, yeah. I got to feel everything. Yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah. I just need to get there. Yeah. I just need to make it in the house. Yeah. When I walk through the door, yeah. everything turns around. Yeah. 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 That's the saint that's in the race. Yeah. Yeah. That's the saint that might be sick. 
might be tired. Yeah. Might have some ailments going on. Yeah. But they say, if I can just get to the house, if I can just make it there, yeah. I got a feeling. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Not some things, but everything. It's going to be all right. Just let me get to the house. Just let me get to the house. Let's get no seat in the house. Let me sit down in the house. Let me sit beside my mother. Let me sit beside my brother. Let me sit beside somebody in the house. If I get in the house, everything. Everything. I get restored when I get in the house. Yeah. Yeah. I get a new attitude when I get in the house. All right. All right. May I went through hell that week, but then let me get to the house. Yeah. Try to get that mess off of me. Yeah. He said the Hebrew lay aside everything yeah. and don't wait. So I need to get to the house because I got some weight on me. Yeah. I need to get it off. Yeah. Yeah. Shake it off me. Yeah. Let me get to the house. Get to the house. So I can lay that sin aside. Yeah. Yeah. And I, can, I can get that weight off of me. Yes, sir. That, that weight is weighing me down while I'm trying to run in the race. That weight got me down while I'm trying to run in the race. I can't really run like I want to, but that, that weight got me. That weight got me, but when I get to the house, and I begin to give God praise, I can straighten up a little bit. I can feel my help coming out. And when I feel my help coming out, I can lift my hands. And when I lift my hands, no stuff fall off of me. And I step away, and I give God praise. And after I give him praise, then I can go from being a praiser to a worshiper. Because I done got rid of that weight now. So now I can worship God in the beauty of holiness because I ain't got that weight. I ain't got that weight on me now. I ain't got that weight on me now. You can't run with God weighted down. If you like the soul, see, you'll fall by the wayside. Yes, sir. Fall by the wayside. Have your way, Holy Ghost. You can let that weight go. Yes, sir. Turn it loose. Let go. Let go. And a weight could be something. That's my. Yes, sir. A weight could be a bad thought. Yeah. Yeah. In my mind. Yeah. Toward my wife. Come on, yes. Toward my husband. Yeah. Towards my sister. Yeah. Yeah. Towards my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, lay it aside. Lay it aside. Every way. Every way. So whatever is holding you back Come on. from running the race yeah. and being one to endure Come on. as a hardship. Yeah. See, hardship don't, you don't know about that. All right. Paul said, endure. Mm -hmm. Endure. Endure. You're a soldier. Yeah. You're a soldier. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you get hit. All right. You ain't do it. Even when you get pushed down, you get back up. Come on here. You ain't do it. Yeah. Because I'm a soldier. Yes, sir. That's right. I'm a soldier. Yes, sir. In the army of God. In the army of God. So, so I got to get up. Yeah. I can't let that stop me. All right. You hit me right there. Uh huh. I can't let that pull me down. Right. Even when you hit me up here. Uh huh. I still got to say. Let this man yes. be in me, yes. which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. The man. Yes, sir. That's what Satan plays. Yes. 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 Satan have you taking a break from the race, and God ain't said take a break. That's right. That's right. That's right. God said keep going. Yeah. But Satan said you need to take a break. Uh huh. You done did good. Yeah. Yeah. They can't see that. Right. They can't see what you already your accolades. Come on. You ain't got no accolades in, uh, yeah, in, in, right. in, in Christ. No, you don't. Not in the kingdom. Come you ain't got on. no accolades. No, sir. Not there. What you going to call one up there? Right. All right. You, you ain't got no accolades. Right. Come on. How here. you going to call them up? Well, I did this and I, you know, I did all of this and I show up every Sunday and, you know, I open the doors, I make sure the air is open, I just make sure everything is like it is. That's an accolade. All right. That's a sir. Yes, That's a yes, serve. Yes, yes. You got to serve yes. before you can get here. Yes. If you can't serve, yes. then you won't get there. That's right. That's right. That's right. Did y'all hear me? Yes, sir. We yes. are servants. Yes. Servants. Yes. To the God. Yes. And the way we serve is how we treat one another. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Yes, sir. How we treat one another. Yes. Yes. If you're confessing that Christ is in your life, you ain't got no business saying, I can't stand him. Right. I can't stand her. They right. get on my last nerve. Don't take me there. Right, 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 right. Right, right, right. Take you where? If I ain't taking you to the where, then you telling me, don't take me over here, because I ain't over there, I'm over here. So I, I'm not going to take you over there, because you with the wrong army. Yes. Yes. You ain't with the army. You ain't in the race, don't win. Come on. Because in my race, I'm not going to tell you, don't take me there. Come on. I'm going to tell you, come on, brother. Yes. You're gonna pray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're gonna pray about yes, this. Sir. Yes, sir. You're gonna get this together. Yes. You're gonna get it straight. Yes, sir. So God can take both of us. Yes. 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 See, God made the word so plain. He said, if you think that you have an offer against your brother, you that are spiritual. Now, see, that's the part right there. A lot of people don't break down. Yeah. You that are spiritual. But now, if you're not spiritual, you can't go to them. Because right. Right. you still got that arrogance. Yeah. You still got that attitude. Uh -huh. You still upset. Right. You ain't forgot what they said, yeah. what they done, right. how they did it. Yeah. So you don't need to go to them. You need to sit down. Right. You need to sit down. Yeah. Until God finished with you. Yeah. So then you can learn how to approach yeah. a brother. Yeah. See, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yeah. How you present yeah. How you present yeah. How you talk to me yeah. determines whether or not if I'm going to receive you. Right. How you talk to me. That's right. You come at me like a pet bull. Like, oh, oh, no. Uh, that's all right. I don't want to hear yeah. You tell somebody else that's going. <laughs> I, I, I'm bad enough. No. You're not going to contaminate me and my shirt. Yes, sir. Cause I'm in the race. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, that's not right. That's right, not right, spirit. right. Yeah. But then I, I thought you was this. I am that. Yeah. Plus, I'm whatever God says I am. Right. But I have a discernment to see the enemy uh -huh. when he comes. Yes. And that don't. He didn't give me. He didn't say you got to accept what the enemy brings. That's right. He said resist. Resist. Yeah. 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 So how we talk to each other? And the way we talk to each other determines how we accept yes. one another. Yes, sir. See, people, people, I really wonder sometimes when people really realize when they come at people the wrong way, like God sleeps. Right. We can hear that. Come on. Come on, Bishop. We can hear that. Come on, Bishop. Come on, him. Come on. See, the minute it comes out of your lip, God says, wait a minute. Hold up. You said that about her. Right. What? I said that about him. Yeah, right. right. But you want to walk around with my Ooh. word? Come on, man. All right, all right. Come on. 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 Oh, yeah. You all the way out. No yeah. yes, sir. God set it up that way. Yes, sir. Right. Come on. He set it up that way. Yes. So we we, we, we <laughs> learn to live by faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop trying to see it before it happens. All right. Stop trying to visualize. Yes, sir. See, it's good to visualize what you want to do. Mm -hmm. All right. But when God visualizes what he has for you, All right. your vision drops. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you got to pick up God's vision. Right. Yes, sir. 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 I'm trying to materialize your own life. Yes. Yeah. It just got you on loan. Yeah. God bless you with a house. Mm -hmm. ain't your house. Right. Come on here. It's just an occupier. Yep. Yeah. 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 Right. It's just an occupant. Yeah. Right. 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 That's all you got. You're a living occupant. It's not right. yours. Right. Yep. God just got you on loan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. It's just all on loan. That's right. Some folks get blessed with a nice house. They, they particular. Mm -hmm. Who show up at the house? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. What you say, bitch? You better yeah. tell them one more time. Yeah. But if you say, God, 
gave me this house. Mm -hmm. Y'all blessed me with this house. Yes. Yes. Then why you put up a particular wall uh -huh. in this house? Uh -huh. All right. All right. Oh, All right. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Why do you do that? That's right. Why huh? commission? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. We ain't illustrations in the Bible. Yeah. When Jesus went in the house with the church, yeah, he said, "I'm." Uh -huh. Everybody was in there. Yes, sir. Oh. Wine old, uh, what you say, the drunk, yeah, uh, everybody. Everybody. everybody, everybody was full of sin in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Hey. Jesus walked in and sit down at the table. Yes, sir. Here come the prostitute. Yes, yes, hey, yes. Come on, yes. Bishop. The prostitute. Come on, yeah. The prostitute. Uh huh. And I look at that, and I'm wondering now, how many of them brothers up in their head already had the prostitute? Come on, 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 Transformation was taking place. Yeah. She didn't let the fact of who I am uh -huh. keep me from my blessing. Yeah. Yeah. People will keep you from your blessing yeah. when they try to be you. You will make you think you are not nothing, but in the eyes of God, you are somebody. That's right. That's right. You got to tell your own self. Yeah. You got to tell your own self. Yeah. So when the prostitute showed up. Uh -huh. The word of God says she mm. took her precious oil. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Now we got one brother sitting at the table. He wondered. Now he already know that's some expensive oil. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Bible said when she pulled it out mm. on Jesus' feet, yeah. the aroma oh, yeah. when I crossed the room. Oh, come on here. When I crossed the room. Yes, sir. That disciple said, "Why is he wasting that good oil?" Mm. <laughs> Jesus, look here. Don't even know what You don't know what she's doing. She wiped his feet. Then the other brother sitting at the table now, if he was showing up a prophet, then he would know who's washing his feet. He would know who's touching him if he knew. If he really was a true prophet. Oh, what you say, girl? So in the process of that, Jesus didn't say nothing. Oh, he told him, he said, after she washed mm. his feet, mm -hmm. Jesus, she took that long, pretty hair. Oh, oh, yeah. She dried his feet. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Savior was just sitting there. Yeah. He knew what was taking place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was preparing oh, him for his burial. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She was the first woman that actually anointed him. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. 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 The ones that went to the tomb, they went to anoint. But that prostitute, yeah. Yeah. the one that everybody looked down on, yeah. that was the one yeah. that prepared the Lord yeah. for his burial. Yeah. The same, the least one. Yeah. The least one. Yeah. The least one. Yeah. He took the least one out of the whole group. Yes, sir. Can you imagine how they made that woman feel when she walked up in that room, all eyes on her? Yeah. Yeah. Grumbling, yeah. mumbling, what yeah. you doing up here? Uh -huh. You're a woman of the night, you yeah. ain't like no business yeah. being up in here. Right, right, All right, these right. brothers are saved, everybody got it together, but uh -huh. the devil is alive. Come on here, come on here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Everybody didn't have it together. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Only person that had it together was Jesus. Yeah. The only one in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. The only one, the other brother talking about that good oil. Why are you wasting that good oil like that? Uh -huh. He wasn't going to take nothing to do with it and make him some money off of it. Right. But that's, that's right. the same one that sold Jesus out anyway. That's right. That's right. right. That's that's right. Money. Come, come on. The devil. Yeah. He's the same yeah. one that sold him out. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come He's on. just looking for more game. Yeah. yeah. That's all he was looking for. Mm. Money to use the devil. That's all he was looking for. Yep. But stay yeah. in your race. Yes. That's all. Uh, yeah. You never know who God's least one is. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Stop looking down on people. Yes, sir. You never know. You never know who's the You never know. God can send you an angel. Yes, sir. Show you right. That's a total stranger you've never seen. Yes, sir. But it's how you receive them. The term is whether or not if you get your next blessing. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Paul said, be careful how we entertain strangers. Yes. Because we have entertained angels. We didn't know it. Yeah. 
You didn't know it. Yes, sir. That's why when God gave me that, he said, everybody hey, is somebody mm -hmm. in the house of God. Yes, yes, sir. Everybody. 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 It don't mean everybody's saved right there. It takes time. It's a process. Yes, it's a process. Yes, but if you keep your mind focused, yes, Lord. you'll get there. Yes. Everybody don't get saved the same way. That's right. Everybody ain't in the church calling on Jesus when they get saved. Come on, now. I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. And then people have to think, well, you got to be in the church, uh -huh. on the altar. Uh -huh. Two or three people got to be behind you. Uh -huh. You got to be calling them G, 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 G. Come on, yeah. yeah. God can save you anywhere. 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 God, God, yeah. Yeah. It's all on his timing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The old saints used to say when your heart and your mind, when they line up, God, you. You can see. The Holy Ghost will come. Yeah. Yeah. But if the mind's over here, the heart is saying, I'm ready, but the mind's and I ain't ready. And I still got, I still got a few more things I got to line up. I got I got a couple more things I need to do. Yeah. Then, heart, I'll come over there and get with you. You'll forever be right there. Yeah. You'll forever be right there. Because now you got a war. Uh, yeah. Paul said, I will war against the remembrance uh, of my mind. But see, what about the person who hadn't got there yet? Right. Their yeah. war is greater uh -huh. than the ones that are already there. Yes, sir. See, he said, we war against the remembrance of our mind because we have been saved and washed in the blood. Yes, so the enemy always brings it back. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always at what? War in your mind. In your mind. Yes, sir. In your mind. In your mind. And all he got is what you used to do. Right. How you used to act. How you used to talk. Yeah. How you used to cut up. All right. uh -huh. That's all he got. Yeah. But now, you don't have that now. Yeah. I had a, I, yeah. I closed and I had a discussion with the devil. Oh. <coughs> Me and him. A discussion. Talk. I feel like I'm looking at y'all now. I got in a bad situation. We come to me and look. Remember when you was in the world? Everything was a lot better. Work Everything closed. Mm -hmm. You never had a problem with a job. Mm -hmm. You get two or three jobs in one year. Mm -hmm. If you didn't like it, you jump to another. Yeah. Elton knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, about in hell, doesn't mm. No job. Right. Work business. Satan came to me and said, Look, we were better off when you was out here. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Yes, so you were better off over here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I said, look here. I said, God didn't save me just to save me. All right. I said, now, since you can tell me about how I used to be, uh, I need you to tell me where I'm going. All right. All right. All right. All right. I didn't get no response over there. All right. I said, tell me where I'm going. Come on, here. Come on. Can't do that one. You can tell me that. No, sir. Only thing he can tell me what used to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What used to be. Yeah. But see, he could call up the old child. Uh -huh. But he couldn't talk to the new child. All right, child. Brother child. Come on. Yeah. Because see, my name had been changed from Charlie to Brother Charlie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now I'm in the race. Yeah. That's a difference. When I read, when I read in the Word where it said, "For as much as Christ has suffered." In the flesh. Oh. Get your mindset. Uh -huh. Get your focus. Yeah. Because you got to go through some stuff. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And my question is, I'm going through stuff. So what am I going through for? All right. He says, you're going through to get to. Yes, sir. Yes, to where? Wherever God says you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wherever you can be. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we, 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 we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But let's stay in the race. Yes. Yeah. Let's stay in the race. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I ask you a question. What race are you running? running. Come on, Lord. What race are you running? Come on. What race? Hallelujah, Jesus. It's bad to run the race in the church and then still end up in hell. Oh, All right. Yes, it is. Yes, it All is. Right. All right. Yes, it is. You better tell that mission. All right. That's bad. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's bad. He's been better off just stayed outside. Yeah, Amen. Right. All right. Amen. He's just been better stayed off in the world. Get yeah. going. What you doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the show you born, you come in the house playing with God, he's going to show you up. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Either you're going to be right or you're going to be wrong. That's right. It's so your. Don't play with it. And if you're not ready, just say, I'm not ready. That's right. right. Be honest. Be honest with your own self. Just say, I ain't ready yet. The reason a lot of people don't really, really, truly get saved yet because there's some things that they still hold it on to. What you say, bitch, and I won't let go. It's like a like the scripture said, a stronghold. Uh -huh. Some things you can put down, but then there's some things they're going to take God to take out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to take God. Yes, I was telling the church that my stronghold is cigarettes. Work bishop, work a bishop. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever knew me? They knew that. I was not a social smoker. See, I know the difference, Pastor, between a smoker, some smokers, social smoker. You got three types. You got the social smoker, you got the chain smoker, and you got the smoker here smoking, you get around the other brothers that got a beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Word Bishop. So, I was a smoker. Mm -hmm. Because. I wouldn't go to bed at night if I didn't at least have a half a pack of cigarettes on my nightstand. Come on. Mm. I told myself, I said, if I don't hang around the guys, smoke the marijuana, get away from that. I did that. Amen. I said, if I don't hang around them, drink a lot, I cut that back. Mm. And if I cut it back. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. But it got to the point where I said, I bought a pack of cigarettes, I ain't gonna smoke no more. This is gonna be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> last one. Very Take that cigarette. Crush it up. Put it back. Take that pack. Ring. <laughs> Put it in the garbage can. I ain't smoking no more. Fifteen minutes later, the garbage can is moving for me. Going through. Going through. Yep. Yep. Get a foot. That much of one. Put it together. Oh. Find some scotch tape. <laughs> That's a stronghold. Yeah. Yeah. That's a stronghold. Yeah. That's a stronghold. Yeah. That's a stronghold. Yeah. That's a stronghold. Yeah. And to show you how strong that hope was, I went to church. I was late bishop. Late bishop was preaching. I never would forget that word. Strengthened by God. That word went home. When I got home, here comes the devil. He said, now you got one cigarette left in that pack. Wow. See, the devil will give you the truth. You just got to really be on your P's and Q's. He'll bring you the truth. He said, you got one cigarette left. You might as well go on and smoke that one. But I did. I grabbed it, lit it up, smoked it. But I paid for it. Yeah. I paid for it. Yeah. Didn't have the business touch it. All that night, I couldn't sleep. All that night. I was in a press. God had me in a press. Just like that. Just like that. I jumped up, ran to my front door, on my door, and just looked up in there. <laughs> they don't even know why I went there. Mm. Wake up. No, God. Wake up. God. That next morning, oh. at 6 30, God saved yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. God healed me. Yeah. With the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. I submit. Submitted myself. Yes, sir. That's the key right there. Yes. yes. Went through yes. some stuff now. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, the saints didn't tell me, well, once you get saved, there's going to be some, some stuff that's going to come. Yeah. They didn't tell me that, sir. Yeah. 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 But God equipped me to go yeah. through. Yes, sir. He'll equip you to do the same thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, he will. He'll equip you to go through the rest. Yes, sir. And that's why I tell people there's just some things that God has to come into your life. Okay. Because strongholds, yeah. we can't deliver ourselves from a stronghold. So you are this, God. Don't fool yourself. So right. you cannot. Right. Don't ever fool yourself. That's right. You can do it, it yourself. Hell. That's right. It takes God. Yeah. Yeah. When your heart and mind meet the condition, mm -hmm. God will come in and God will do it, church. Yes, yes, he will. Come yes, on, he give the Lord a hand, pray. I thank yeah. God today. Give oh, God praise. Yeah. God to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. He's worthy. Yeah. He's worthy. Yeah. Amen. We just bless the Lord. Amen. We hope you something else and say it. Amen.
We hope the movement of God and the word of God has blessed you today. Amen. We, we hope that way. We truly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are head of the high. Equipped head of the high. For this head, head of the high. For this season, head of the high. A new head of the high. A new head of the high. A new head of the high. Yes, he has. A new head of the high. New need of the high. Because I am doing head of the high. A new thing, head of the high. In your life, head of the high. A new 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 bone is head on the high. Head on the high. Head on the high. So you will stand against head on the high. The devil head on the high. When he come head on the high. And slay him head on the high. And send him back to the pit head on the high. Of hell head on the high. Has no weapon head on the high. No weapon head on the high. Form against the head on the high. You head on the high. And you head on the high. And you have a nourish in the house, shall prosper. For I have done a new thing ahead of the house. In this season, this day, head of the house. This day, head of the house. Right now, head of the highest in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church God is getting his people together. He's bringing his people together. He's bringing them together. Because he's soon to come. And we got to get it right. We got to get it right. We got to get it right. He's soon to come. We got to get it right. We got to get it right. Pastor Mike Pearson, don't worry about the small numbers right now. Just do what God says. God is the one that gives you. Just do what God says. There is a church. And when I say this, I mean people. That's Coming there. Coming there. But they're not coming the way you think they're going to come. I ain't saying they're right down the road. I'm holding the group. I'm coming. Three teeth. I'm trying. I'm trying. They're looking for someone to teach them and train them. You look at it doesn't matter how many churches in the area. It's the one that God directs the people to. And most of these is coming from the unsaved. So that's where they were. They're really going to come in. But they're not going to walk in and say, they're going to come in looking just like the world, talking like the world, acting like the world. But our job as leaders is. To let them come. And you give them the word. The truth. Either they will stay or they will leave. 
Yeah, that's Ruth that's coming. Hi, Jesus. That's Ruth that's coming. And the majority of them is young people. So let me look in the eyes of these young people. Are y'all ready for what's about to come? Ah, my God. Thank you, buddy. Ah, thank you, Lord. Are you really ready for the increase? The increase that's coming to the church is not elders, not little ladies, but it's in the young people. Young people follow young people. Young people are the example. Young people. So what you all do, what you all say, is a reflection of this movement that God wants to do in the church. That sounds like it's heavy, don't it? That sounds real heavy, don't it? But you know what it is? It's an assignment. You might tell yourself, well, I ain't ready for that. You know, I'm not in a position to take that on. You're not taking it on. God just going to use you as a vessel to get it on. You just be the vessel. And there's one place, Elder, that they got to start. And I said, right down the road. Right down the road. These, you all have got to go down the road. And bring these young people back. Bring them back. They still there. They still there. Bring them back. Because the church that's going to be birthed again is going to be a young church. It's be a young church. Young church. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Watch what happens. Just watch what happens. Watch what happens. Young people come. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Yes, sir. But it's coming, yo. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And your job is going to be to teach. Teach, train. You can't clean the fish until we catch the fish. All right. All right. Oh, my God. You can't clean until we catch the fish. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But it's God. 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 It's Stay right there in the race. Unto the day of Jesus. Stay right there. Hey, thank God, you for coming. A lot of times God has to shield hey, people out so we can come in. Hey, and, and your word will never turn into your void, oh God. It'll accomplish, oh God, where you sent it, oh God. Hey, I love you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, but it will be accomplished. Yes, God. And I know. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, me in 2019, we start over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, you keep it.